Hi folks, it's Dasher Dave here, um, also known as Crafty Moose. Um, the reason I say that is because I might be having a bit of a tidy up about my profiles and um, I'm, I actually work under the name of Crafty Moose um, when I'm doing all of my makes and things and my Etsy store um, will be called Crafty Moose as well. So I'm trying to tidy it up and I might be renaming the channel but I don't know just yet. So hang fire you won't have to do anything my ch all the changes will change with you okay so i was sat here today thinking well a bit bored I've got some washing in the washing machine and just waiting for all of that to do so i thought what can i do okay so um before christmas i had a bit of a sort out up here um and i sorted out all of like i had some little bits of like they were purchased ephemera that came in these boxes that look like match boxes and i think they're designed to look like match boxes because they've got it's not really a a strike you know a, a um what was it called a sandpaper thing at the side it's just um pretend looks like one so i just thought i want to turn these into something rather than throw them away so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover them and turn them into those little drawers um that we all used to make out of match boxes well I certainly did, my sister certainly did, back in the late 70s, early 80s maybe. Anyway, so rather than just glue them together, I'm actually going to cover them first because then if you see any bits of the, the cardboard, you can, you'll can you only see like nice, you know, book pages. Anyway, so I'm going to cover these and I thought, well, I'm going to sit here and do this, so I'm going to bring you along. Um, and we'll do this. And the other thing is, I'm sort. I'm currently now sorting out my cellar, um, which has got. Uh, I used to have my craft room in my cellar, so it's got lots of craft things. It's got lots of things that just get dumped down there, etc. So um, there's things that I found, and I thought, well, I might as well use up what I've got rather than purchase more stuff. So I'm going to use this glue, which is um, Deca Patch glue by Paper Patch. It's glossy glue. Anyway, so don't, I've never used it before, so we'll soon see what happens. But I just thought, you know, rather than buy some more, I will, or use some of my good stuff, I would uh, I would do, do it with this. So anyway, enough of me explaining, isn't it? So anyway, so I'm just taking off the bits where it doesn't have um, any writing, just to kind of make it a bit a bit more interesting I'll just make sure that I haven't ripped too much off I want it to kind of just tuck in oh that won't just tuck in Dave that might just tuck in okay so yeah so I'm just going to stick that down there and then well, I'm just going to sit and do this and craft and talk I keep putting that back in the wrong pot so wipe that off there take some of that this has got a little notch for you to be able to put your paintbrush in, but my paintbrush is giant compared to the notch, so I can't do that. So, so yes, it's um, fil I'm filming this on January the 5th. Um, it's Tuesday. I think it's a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. Sorry, I have to, I'm looking at my um, Amazon show to be able to tell me what time it is because and what day it is because... You know, I'm still off work, so I'm not, um, I'm on annual leave until the 11th. So, but the thing is, all oh, the days bleed into one, and now the UK's gone into a full lockdown again. Um, so, I'm not sure whether you all know that, but um, yeah, the UK's gone back into a full lockdown, and so we'll all be losing track of days and what day it is. Um, I'll still be working, but I'll be doing a lot more work from home than I have been. Um, because they've said not to go to work unless you have to. So, and I don't have to. There are some things that I can't do at home, but most of the stuff I can do at home. So, I'll be be working from from home again. Just flattening that out and trying trying to rub it down. What have I got to rub it down with? Just don't want to keep using my finger because like my fingers will end up getting gluey and then I'll end up rubbing glue all over it. Although to be fair, you're not going to see it, are you? So it doesn't matter. And if you can hear growling in the background, it's not me or my stomach. It's my dog growling. 
at somebody. Who knows? Who knows it? Who it is? Right, we're gonna put a big piece on there. So yeah, um, so we're on post Christmas. So um, some of you might have watched my, uh, well, mine and Brian's live on New Year's Day on the on the Facebook. Um, group that we belong to. That's not long enough, Dave. Um, and uh, yeah, we did that for the Jamas group that we belong to. Um, Jamas being it's J J A M M M S, which is no A A J J A M M M A, which is junk journals and mixed media mindfulness arts because that's not a <laughs> title in itself is it so um yeah so I've, we did that on the, the we did the live on there and then we posted it to the to my youtube channel so um and that was with my friend brian who oh, you've seen before um, on the Christmas Day one, um, and we, you know, we're going to do some more collaboration stuff with with him. He doesn't really have a channel. Hello, what do you want? Sorry, it's my dog's just walked in, so Buster's here. Um, what do you want? Somebody at you? They're getting at you. And they walk past the window. <gasps> How dare they? You need to go and lie down. You look sleepy. I'm tired. You're going to go and lie down. That's a good boy. Go and lie down then. So, sorry, just get rid of him. So, um, bless him. <laughs> He's a craft widow. So, uh, it doesn't see much of me during the day because I'm, well, let's face it, is asleep because I'm usually making stuff. Um, and then the evenings we send, spend snuggled up on the sofa. Good, He's a good boy. I'm talking about the dog, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Brian doesn't have Brian has a, a YouTube channel, but he doesn't have anything on it at the minute. But I'm at at the moment. I am um, badgering him because he makes lots of stuff and he makes like like really nice journals and stuff. Um, and he really needs to have his own channel. You could follow him on there as well. So. Don't follow him in person, obviously, because that's called stalking. So, <laughs> I think I'm funny. It's a good job, really, isn't it? Somebody has to. Um, so yes, for I, I like somebody asked me the other day, um, what would I say that my crafty passion was what do I love doing the most I love like I love covering things in book paper which is clearly what I'm doing now um but it's not really a craft is it um so I guess decoupage is a craft isn't it so I like I, I, it's not I don't like decoupaging in the sense of like the normal sense of covering furniture and that sort of thing I like covering bits and you know that sort of thing um I guess it's not just defined by covering um, furniture, but it seems to be, if you look up decoupage, decoupage um, it tends to be that. Is it decoupage or decoupage? They change the goalposts on these things. So yeah, I'm just checking now that because I've tucked a bit inside that it's still enough clearance for this to slide in and out. I'm not gonna decorate that these, but I, what I might do is like just reinforce them a bit and glue them down better. So I'm going to leave those to dry. So that's one to dry. I don't think that they're fitted individually to each other. I think they're both, they're all like pretty much the same standard size. If not, it'll be fun trying to patch them up. Um, no, too small now. I have to be really careful. What I might do is I might use a ruler to cut it off with, tear it off with. I mean. That way then we get a bit more of a straight edge, which means gives me the widest part of the text, basically, to not tearing text off, etc. So, um, yeah, so 
can't remember what I'm saying. Oh yeah, um, Brian having his own channel. So I'm at the moment I'm badgering him. So you know, like I say, he doesn't have one at the moment, but you know who who knows what will come. So, um, I've got my second date with Bill tomorrow. So um, we're doing it via Skype though. Um, alas, because of lockdown. Um, we're not we're not going to be going anywhere. I did say to him today, "What? Where are we going? Where are we? Where are we going? We could virtually go anywhere because basically we're only having a virtual date. So you could, <laughs> we could be in a cafe in Paris in our heads, couldn't we? So I've never been to Paris though. I've <sighs> never been to Paris. I could sing that song, couldn't I? Um, what is it? Um, I've been to wherever, wherever, and I've never been to me. So. Um, yeah, I don't know that song, so like, I don't know why, or why I suddenly decided I was going to quote that because I don't know it. Um, I quite like this glue, you know, it's got a good, a good grab to it. I've never used it, it's literally, it's been well, I have used it because you can tell I've used it, but I haven't used it for so long that I can't remember what couldn't remember what it was like. Um, and I don't know why I didn't, didn't use it. Maybe it was just because the the hype about using everybody uses Mod Podge, you know, you can, you can bet your bottom dollar that most of us own some um, Mod Podge. Well, most of us, I don't, I'm, you know, yeah, most of us. I think it's more popular than than any other type of glue. I've never used any others until this, so. Um, and I'm, I believe you can get this. I've seen this in shops. So I've seen it recently. So it's not just something that no, you can't get anymore. Um, although I believe it comes in a much smaller tub these days. Um, and I, I think it's quite expensive comparatively. I think I just bought this for Christmas one year. So, and I think it was bought by my ex-husband. So... That t that's telling of how long ago that was because we split up in 2014 so <laughs> maybe I haven't used it maybe it's just that's just evaporated so <laughs> who knows um, so anyway just use what you've got because like you know if you're in the lockdown you don't want to be going anywhere please don't be going anywhere that you don't have to you know the, that's not helping anybody and if you do wear a mask unless you're exempt I mean, I'm exempt. Technically, I'm exempt because I have a breathing issues. So, um, but I still wear one, and cause I think it's for my own peace of mind, really. And also, I don't. I'm worried about like I wouldn't want to give it to anybody if I had it. So, although that's the reason why I've got the breathing difficulties is because I did have it. So. Anyway, so, but anyway, I'm having, I'm having more tests. Let's let's not get on the subject of being tested. I'm going to give some blood soon, so not not today. I don't mean soon like that. I mean at some point, um, because I've got to go and I'm going to have some tests done. Um, and see what the situation is. Um, but anyway, let's let's not talk about that. Um, so yeah, I've uh been thinking about changing maybe changing my youtube channel because on I, I mean i am known i do have a channel um on instagram i have my dash of dave um but somebody was saying that dash um in america is the underscore well you know i've always called um sorry it is a hyphen and um, not an underscore. Well, I've always called the underscore a dash, um, and the people that I know have always called it um, an underscore, um, and but a dash is actually a hyphen. So um, in America, which is confusing to me because for me a dash is an underscore and a hyphen is a hyphen, but apparently in America a dash is um, a hyphen and an underscore is an underscore 
I don't know. Anyway, um, and rather than changing it to a hyphen of Dave, which doesn't make any sense at all, um, I might change it to my Crafty Moose. The reason why I didn't call it Crafty Moose in the first place is because I was a brand ambassador for... Um, I've just, I've just pasted... You didn't tell me. I haven't got my paper ready. Um, I was a brand ambassador for an organisation when I was doing my stuff on um, Hachanda and they didn't want me to have it associated with my own brand, which was Crafty Moose at the time. Well, it still is. Um, so I had to have something different. So I had Dash of Dave that didn't have any kind of connection to, to either. Um, and then it kind of, we built it from there and I built it off the back of the, you know, the people that had followed me on YouTube because of the stuff I did on a channel. So, um, it just kind of like evolved naturally like that. Um, however, Crafty Moose is what I'm mostly known as, um, and that's all the stuff that I make and sell is sold and, and made and sold under the name of Crafty Moose. So um, I might revert back to being Crafty Moose. But like I say, I don't know yet. It's, who knows? I am a Crafty Moose. Anyway, my nickname's Moose. So, uh, so let me just explain. Why Crafty Moose? Um, Moose is my nickname. Moose came um, came to me as a nickname in a very negative way. So while I was at school, I was I was I got bullied. I mean, I hated school from the day I started school to the day I finished school. I didn't. I never had a day off. Well, because basically, you know, I was scared of my mum. Um, she she wouldn't have been happy if I'd taken any time off. So, um, I I did school all the time, but I hated every minute of it. So. Um, because I was bullied all the way through it. And I was I used to get called Moose in a very negative way. So when I was at school, Moose was not a nice name. It was something you called somebody that was ugly, basically. Um, oh, you're a bit of Moose, aren't you? Um, and actually, if you look at Moose themselves, they're beautiful. They're beautiful creatures. They're very majestic. They're quirky looking, which definitely fits me. Um, but anyway, Moose used to call me, cause me a lot of negative... It gave me a negative connotation to the word moose. Anyway, so I had a bit of therapy when I was younger. As I really wasn't comfortable with who I was. I still have issues with you know, my self-identity, etc. And I, I was undiagnosed with autism at the time. So, you know, there's some of those elements of it. Because um, I didn't get diagnosed until I was 40. So, um, so anyway... Um, I went to this, saw this therapist and they, you know, one of the things, it wasn't the only thing that they said, but one of the things they said was to take something that's caused me pain and take ownership of it. Once you take ownership of it, it's no, it can no longer hurt you. So moose was the thing that was, was the big thing for me. So I took ownership of the word moose, of the name moose, and uh, um, I haven't looked back really. Um, I collect moose now. I think moose are really l lovely. If you think of it in a in a positive way, they're actually beautiful creatures. Um, they're quirky looking. They're majestic. You know, they're you know they're generally nice. You don't you know don't confront a moose because um, they'll they get they get angry. That's pretty much how I am. So don't confront me. I get angry. Um, you know you corner me and I'm not going to be happy um but yeah and you know I, I I see it as a very positive thing now so I like I said I collect moose so people buy me like moose things for Christmas and I've got all sorts of things don't have a tea towel yet that's you know and I think I need to move to Canada because like there seems to be so much in Canada that is moose related well I know that's moose territory really so um but yeah, it's really hard, really difficult to get moose things in the UK. But I've still managed to get quite a few. And Brian's bought me stuff for my Christmas presents and all sorts of things. And other people have bought me things in the past and 
Christmas decorations and ornaments and all sorts of things. Cuddly toys, all sorts. Um, so, like I say, Moose is my nickname. I've got Moose tattooed on, on me. The only tattoo I have is a big tattoo across my shoulder. Um, and that's... I nearly did it again. I nearly wet my paintbrush before I got my paper ready. Um, so... Yeah, my nickname is Moose. I love it. You know, I genuinely love being called Moose. Um, I respond to Moose. Um, my email address is related to Moose. Um, oh, it's not Moose itself, just in case you think of it, think, thinking of emailing me. Um, my car um, is called Bruce because it rhymes with moose. So it's Bruce the Moose Mobile. Um, and my, um, it's got a picture of a moose on the back, on its bumper as well. Um, anyway, so yeah, I have a lot of moosey things. So, and like I say, my my business and my freelance business and the way, the, my, the name that my, um, my business name registered for tax um, is, Crafty Moose, so it makes sense. But like I say, it's, it's kind of under negotiation. Somebody's helping me kind of get a bit more of a brand identity. I don't want to be corporate though. Don't worry, I'm not going to turn into this big corporate um, thing. I'm just going to be, still going to be me, still going to be doing the same stuff, just going to have a bit more, I'm going to make my, my channel look a bit prettier. So, um, I'll never lose the essence of me because I can only do me. <laughs> um, that's nothing, can't be anybody else. Um, so anyway, so that's the reason why the brand change might happen. But like I say, it won't affect you because, like you know, if I change my name, it doesn't change it. You're still following me if you still you follow me. So if you're following me, you're still following me. Um, do you follow? Um, so, but like I say, we'll see. You don't have to do anything. Um, I haven't decided. So, um, again, we'll we'll soon see. We might have another conversation in a few weeks, and it might be that I've changed my name, or it might be that I decided against it. So, like I say, it's not going to affect you. So, don't panic. You will not lose me, and I will not lose you. So that's the that's the main thing we want to be together so, <laughs> so I'm, you know something i'm really enjoying just covering these with just with paper it's not it's not a very technical task but i'm just enjoying it um well wait until i've like finished them all and i might be like oh thank goodness for that so um what else was i gonna say so yeah um changing my Brand identity, I told you about that, about following Brian, um, you know, when he's got his sorted out. I guess I need to get my act together and get mine sorted out before I can really badger him to get him sort of his sorted out. Um, and, uh, yeah, because, like, I do... So, well, I was talking about uh, the Jammers group, so junk, junk journals and mixed media mindfulness arts which is right mouthful, so it's called Jamas, for obvious reasons, because nobody wants to say junk journals and mixed media mindfulness arts every time. That is a bit of a tongue twister, although I do seem to be able to say it today. Um, so it's on, it's a group on Facebook. It's a really good group if you want to kind of go over there and like jump on Facebook and, and go and find it. I think, you'll, I think you do find it if you type in Jamas. It's hashtagged with it. Um, J J A M M M S, um, so J two J's one A, three M's oh and an A at the end not an S at the end sorry, um, or junk journal, junk journals and mixed media mindfulness arts. If you can remember that, type that into into Facebook, and you will, I nearly did it again. <laughs> Good grief, Dave, get a grip. Um, 
for crying out loud, as my dad would have said. Um, so yeah, and that's it's kind of Lou Withers group. So Lou Withers from Hachanda. So um, I don't know. I, w I would consider a friend of mine. She might not think so. Um, she has she has that group, and I do lives on there for her. But she's recently started up her YouTube channel again. So, you know, if you want to go and check her out, she's called LuTube1. So L-U-O. Oh, no, L-O-U, Dave. Um, tube1, one, number one. Um, so if you want to go and check that out, you can, you can follow her um, on that. Um and of course, there's um, my good friends, Mariah and Patricia at um, P M. It's P dot M um, dot Studio Arts. Um, but I'll I'll link I'll, I'll link them all in the in the description. But anyway, there. So it's Mariah that's actually helping with my brand identity. Um, so I should have a nice, like, shiny new banner to put on my, um, on my YouTube channel. Um, and so anyway, I'll link, I'll link them in the, in the description anyway, in case you want to go over there and follow, follow them. Uh, so like, um, Mariah and Patricia, they do, um, they tend to do like, um, art journals and more artistic-y things. I'm more of a messy crafter i like to just glue things down and that sort of thing um but um yeah it, they're good they're good to follow they've got you know great ideas and that sort of thing um great place to get some inspiration you uh the frame that i did in um the new year's day video that i did with brian that was inspired by something that mariah had done um she'd covered a frame with um like mop-up sheets um, so you know when you've been doing something arty and then you've got like ink on your on your mat and you can just like mop up and that sort of thing and she made a frame by covering well she she had a frame um, and she covered it with um, mop up sheets so um, you know that was that was the inspiration for what I did um, um, so you can get some good inspiration. So like I always think, you know, don't don't think so like you know, linear about it. Don't think I have to if I'm fo if I'm watching something, so if I'm watching Dave cover matchboxes, um well, pretend matchboxes, um who knew all those years ago that we'd get people to do pretend matchboxes. Um yeah, so if I'm covering matchboxes with um paper you don't have to cover matchboxes with paper you could just think hey maybe i might try using that glue and you know cover some of the things and see whether i prefer it um you might be inspired to think oh actually i could do with covering x y and z with um some book pages or you might think you know oh, i'm going to try some decoupage in some way and use some old leaflets or something don't think so linear about it um so i i mean like i can be i'm a very literal person so i i take things very literally and i and if somebody asks me a question it's very literal that's my autism for you so um autistic people do tend to be quite literal so if you want to if you're asking me a question you need to ask me the question that you want not allude to something and don't ask me too many questions because it makes me very anxious um you know having too many compound questioning so that's when you ask more than one question at the same time it makes me feel very anxious don't can't explain it to you people don't understand why it does it but it it does so it just does just accept it and move on um so it's uh it's just one of those things i guess so um yeah so um Go and have a look at other people what other people are doing i'm often inspired by what other people are making um i'm inspired to make things by what other people are making um this doesn't have as much text on it because it's a different book page dave that's why 
get this one out. So this is, um, I don't know which one it is. It's one of the Bronte sisters' books. Just don't worry, it's not one of like the originals. It's not like a issue number one. <laughs> just, just ripped up like a 10,000 pound book. Um, no, it's just a reprint. And I did check it out. I always check out every book that I buy. I always check out to make sure that it's not, you know, worth millions. Because if it's worth, you know, if I buy it for 20p and it's worth 20 quid, I'll probably sell it because if I can buy 100 books <laughs> again um, for that. And all I'm doing is using them to, like, cut up. Um, I might as well make some money for my little crafty stash, right? Now. Not that I need any more stuff. Sorting out my cellar, I am very well aware that there is stuff. Don't you just hate that? You know, when you buy something and you think, "Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to do it, use it. I'm going to, you know, I know what I'm going to make." And then you kind of do for a bit, and you get bored, and you move on to something else. And then years later, you go and buy something, you buy it again. And then you have a tidy up and you realise you've got now got like three versions of it because you've bought it so many times and lost them every time. That's what I'm currently at at the moment. So I've been down in the in the cellar and like sorting out all my, my stuff and I'm like, oh, I've bought this again. <laughs> That's where it is. So, And there's a whole load of stuff I'm going to be selling. I have got so much craft stuff that I don't use. So I'm just going to get it put on I don't know it might be on one of the Facebook groups um you're not allowed to sell on every Facebook group but I might put it on Facebook I might put it um on you on not YouTube where is it what's the other place eBay <laughs> might eBay it um and see just you know just get rid of it basically I'd rather have somebody had pleasure out of it than I do um then you know I'm not well not that I than I do but I'd rather somebody had pleasure out of it than it just being sat in my cellar and getting lost for years. Um, there's also stuff that you can't buy anymore, so I, you know, I'd rather give somebody it to somebody. You, you buy these things, don't you? I've just literally gone downstairs and got this glue because I knew it was down there. And while I was down there, I was like, oh, I bought a Craftwell e-brush. So it's one of those little spray paint things jobs you put your your um you know things like uh aqua tint um things or you can attach a um an alcohol marker to the end and it'll blow the the ink well i bought one of those okay and i used it twice and i don't think i've ever used it since and that's currently downstairs brand new in its box well relatively brand new in its box all the equipment everything and you know why why am i keeping it when somebody else could have the have it and have the benefit out of it and use it so anyway so that's might be something that will go on my on my selling the only thing i don't like about selling is posting oh, it's such a pain taking stuff to the post office and printing labels and you know packing it all up and the the postage as well you know when people say well um if i posted something like that size it would only cost me x y and said yes but you're you have to pay for not only am i paying for the fact that i've got to wrap it up i'm paying for the wrapping the bubble wrap that i've put around it i wrap it really well as well i don't never just send something i make sure it's you know really well wrapped some people that send that you buy off ebay they you know you're lucky if it's got anything wrapped around it they might as well just like stuck a postage stamp on the actual item so that if i was sending this just stick a postage stamp on it don't bother wrapping it up or anything and there are some people that do that however i wrap things really well because that's how i've retained my excellent star rating um but it's just the taking stuff, and especially now with all the mask wearing and, you know, not really wanting to be out, etc. That's the thing that puts me off doing it on eBay. Um, but then it, any of the projects that I've finished, so my finished work, um, I'm going to sell on Etsy. So 
Um, but, you know, there is an element of I need to make some money because I, I really want to get my, um, my kitchen fitted and my taking the wall down in my living room now so that I stare at the, at the kitchen and the kitchen needs doing desperately so I don't stare at it I mean like you know, when I sit down I can, all I can see is the kitchen that needs doing um, so there's a reason to to raise a bit of cash because I don't earn a lot of money I know I do a not a good job I am a manager etc but I work for a charity so they don't get paid huge amounts of money for it um, and, you know, we've got bills and mortgage and still got my hus ex-husband's debts and all of that to pay. So I'd like to raise a bit of cash. Um, even if it's just to buy more craft stuff so that I can hide, squirrel it away down in the basement and never use it. Who knows? <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I should be doing. I should be... Oh, I really should be like spending my days listing that but like I say it's just the thought of having to post the damn thing people and also the post at the moment is going awry we sent um me and Brian did a nice like you know wrote a nice letter and everything and I made a nice card for my mom and for my auntie in fact I saw you saw me making the one for my auntie um I posted that that video um, and we posted it before Christmas. They still haven't received it. We sent it um, tracked, and they apparently it's got to Coventry. It's waiting to be delivered, but it hasn't been delivered. And it's just so annoying. You pay all this money for for postage, and it doesn't get there. So, and so I'm not willing at the moment to send anything in the post that isn't tracked because you know if it doesn't get to the other end that's fine that person can get a refund they can get it off ebay get the refund off ebay that comes out of my money but i don't get the item back so i can't sell it again um so unless i you know pay for it to be postage with tracked and some people don't want to pay that money so you know unless they come and fetch it um you know, it's going to cause some issues. I will say, state that, that I will only send it tracked in the, I'll state that in the, in the comments, and that's the reason why the postage is X, Y, or Z. So I might try and sell some stuff. Some of the crafty stuff I'm more likely to sell in a crafty group. One of the ones that that allows me to sell sell in there. So um. So I will be doing that. It smells funny. <laughs> not sure if it's this. No, it's not the book page. The glue smells funny. Um, not in a horrible way, just different. I guess it's different to Mod Podge, and that's what you're used to. You, you, you like what you're used to, don't you? So, so oh, nearly at the end. Last one. Remember this time, Dave. Tear your page before you glue your brush. Way up that way. Oh, it doesn't matter which way up it is when you're ripping it, Dave. Don't what you talk about. Could have turned it over after you ripped it. <laughs> um. So yeah, just heard my washing machine go into full spin. So like it's it'll be nearing the end of its program. But I'm I'm committed to you guys. I'm here for you. So. I'm also trying to get ahead of myself, so when I don't know when I'll be li listing this, listing this, no, when I'll be uploading this, um, because I'm trying to do things ahead of time. So I have been doing um, videos ahead of time so that I can upload them as a as a go. Um, so like I said, I don't know when it will get posted, but it will get po well. If it doesn't get posted, I'm not. I'm just talking to myself. So, but. <laughs> nothing new there so um it doesn't seem to stick on the end and on the corners as much so i don't i'm going to pay a bit more attention to that so, so yeah just selling stuff i don't know how you know if anybody else sells and they sell 
it better on certain sites, let me know. Um, you know Etsy's really for more for finished stuff. I've got loads of napkins that I need to sell. You know, not need to sell, but like I could do with selling. Rather than having a shelf full of thousands of napkins, I don't need 20 versions of one napkin. I could sell a few, make some money to be able to buy some different napkins. So share the joy. That's what it is. And I have, I've gifted some. You know, I've been, done some um, happy mail and sent some happy mail. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just want to, well, unless you're in a position where you're comfortable and you don't need it and, you know, you don't need the money, then for the rest of us, we need to make a bit of cash where we can. So, and we spend a lot of money on crafty things that we clearly don't use, craft well, um, eBrush, for instance, we won't mention that name again. We won't make me feel guilty again. Please don't make me feel guilty again for buying something that I didn't use. So I do try to use things. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a wasteful person. And because I work for an environmental charity, I try to be mindful of using things and not not being wasteful. Just always work. You know, I'm not a saint. Let's face it. So. And I clearly don't live in a mud hut. Um, so I'm not at one with nature. I'm at one with some of nature and then um, then other bits of nature, they can stay where they are. So like spiders, for instance. They can stay where they are. I've mentioned spiders. Of course, I'm going to bound to find them. Luckily, down in the cellar, I haven't found one yet. Um, but sometimes I do sometimes I go down and do my tumble drying and like walking up the stairs with my because my tumble dryer is downstairs down in the cellar um, walking downstairs with my sorry walking up the stairs with my full basket of of clothes warm from the tumble dryer and like uh, right before me is a massive giant spider and like I have a bit of a <gasps> moment because I am a bit of a, a bit of a wuss when it comes to spiders I really don't Whoever, whoever I date in the future needs to be the spider master. So <laughs> they need to be the one sorting out spiders, spiders out. So or coming to rescue me. I don't mind them being alive. You know, I'm not. I don't want them all dead or anything like that. But I just don't want them in my house. Thanks very much. I'm a what are they called? A nimby? Not in my backyard. So they're, they're happy for it to happen somewhere else. A nimby is happy for it to happen somewhere else. But not near them. Sorry, I was felt very dry, so I had to have a drink. So we've covered all the things. Let's just check that they all still. Yep, they all still work nicely. Okay, so I'm not sure. I don't know what to do with these. Should I cover these also in some? book I don't know I don't, hmm. not really thought about it prior to this would they look better with mm, they probably would they'd look either look better with book or they'd look better with at least some kind of coating on them um, I don't know. you know what I might do is when I stick them all together is I might decoupage over it and put some napkins on so I'm laying napkins down. I might lay a napkin over the front of these. Would it look better if there's book? Yeah, let's put some book pages on the front. I don't want to get too... Oh, I don't know now. <gasps> what I'm thinking is if it gets too thick around it, it won't slide so well. Hmm. Dare I risk it for a biscuit? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think this through, did I? Mm. Mandy Pink was white paths. Blue, blue, blue shiny sky. Sorry, I'm just reading what's on the, <laughs> what's on the thing. Right, okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rip it down and I'm going to see. And if I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. Okay. 
so I might right okay let's, let's do one let's do one and it will need to be very neatly done in order for it to be like glued nicely do you know what I mean so if it's not neat it will catch etc so I'm going to put this on here glue it down nicely and make sure it's all firmly glued down and then I'm going to glue around the sides make sure that they're all nicely glued down on this side don't know what I'm doing so I hope whatever you're currently doing is turning out better than I'm doing and maybe you've thought it out better than me or are you just are you just like me and you just wing it so um, I'm going to tuck those bits in like that and that means that they're going to have to have a bit of glue on because they don't have currently have glue on and then I'm going to curl that in like that it down make sure it's nicely coated this glue is is really sticky really good grab time on this glue I like it I do like it I'm a convert to this I'm not going to stop using Mod Podge because it definitely has its its properties that are good for certain things but this is really good so I guess this is like this is made for decoupage so I guess this is made for doing what it's currently doing so which is good really because it's very good at doing what it's doing it's made for what it's supposed to be good at so not the text isn't very straight but like i'm going to put some on at a really wonky angle as well and just see if that fits in there now you see of course that's going to catch isn't it is it going to catch every time oh no Yeah, we've got some catch issues, so maybe it's these corners that these are the corners that are the problem. Just need to find something that's flat enough to fit in there. Da, 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 one, 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 maybe use one of these. There we go, pokey tool. Not pokey tool, what's this called? Bone folder. That's good. Make that flat. I think I might cover them all and just, you know, to hell with it. I think if I glue these all down properly, it'll all be fine. So this is why I was enjoying gluing it, because I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I don't know now. It's not. It's, I don't think it's the. I think it would catch anyway. I think this is catching here, and it just needs more glue on it because it's dry now. So of course it's not going to. It's not going to glue without the. The glue on it, is it? I'm just making sure that all of these are nice and neat and in there and not going to catch. And then I'll have to decide what I'm going to do. So I'm going to need to get that, let that dry a bit. It's still sticking out. Just being a pain. Tell it. My phone's just bleeped. So I'm actually recording on my old phone. I've got an iPhone 6S Plus that I don't use. And it's just been sat in a drawer. Um, but my XS Max is just at the side here. Um, and... Okay, jab its way out of lockdown. Okay, so it's just I've had a a message from BBC News telling me that you know, breaking news. So there's always breaking news at the minute. It's usually about lockdown or coronavirus or whatever. And I'm not one of those that calls it Rona. So, and there are people out there that call it Rona. So 
And for a long time, I was like, well, Rona, who's Rona? <laughs> do, 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 do. So, I guess it's not going to go. You know, it's not going to go back in because what I'm going to do is when I've stacked them up, I'm going to have a bath on it. So I guess it's not going to. I'm not. It's not going to catch that much. All right. Okay. So yeah, I've convinced myself now. I'm covering all of them, and I'm going to be a bit like crazy with it because then if it's if there's some that are like really wonky and everybody will know that I didn't I haven't meant to do it you know that's not straight so if I do it wonky deliberately wonky then you know I can get away with it can't I so I really like that little bit where it says there's a bit where it says um a lack of day that there was such such a thing as seeing something blah, 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 around you pleasant woods white paths and blue shiny sky there's other th bits that's missing off the off the text this is dry already <laughs> stop wittering and get on with gluing that's maybe what the problem is um get it glued down quick do it do it quick like this Wonky, nice and wonky. Wonky like a donkey. A wonky donkey. I love donkeys, and I've always called them wonkies. So it's a wonky. So um, I need to put these down. I'm not, stupidly, didn't have any scissors with me. Don't want it to be too far in. That bit's bit crazy sticking out like that, isn't it? <gasps> I should have had that bit. Particularly gay, it says. <laughs> That's, that would have been <laughs> perfect. It would have been so appropriate. <laughs> I'll stick all my sides down first. I like the grab on this glue. It's a real quick grab and it dries nice and quickly. I don't know... Maybe that's the reason why it smells funny, because it's um, not just a, it's not a wet glue, if you know what I mean. It's not a, um, oh, what is it? It's a, like an acrylic glue rather than a wet glue. So don't try and talk about what things that you don't know about. Just don't. Just stop it now. Talking about nonsense. Christina, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm saying Christina because I know for a fact that Christina will watch this. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry, Christina. I'm talking about nothing now. I'm talking nonsense. Tell me to shut up whenever I do so, okay? So, um, right. He's learnt that he needs to use his... This is a really old thing. This is a cricket one. Um, from when I had, I had a cricket. Oh, not Explore. What was it? Cricket Mini. It was my first electronic cutting machine. And then I was hooked. And then I ended up buying like loads of them. So, um, yeah. So this is a, a cricket one. So, um, but, you know, it's doing the job. So I, I did, you know, I said I couldn't find a, a, a scoring tool. Um, well, I couldn't, but then I've remembered I got this. Uh, but Brian bought me one for Christmas. Now this is the same one, same style of one that I had before, but I lost it, and I, don't, I really don't know where it is. It's it's gone. It disappeared. It ran away. That's what it was. It ran away. So, anyway. I'm not worried about the size of this one. It's just going to cover this drawer, so. Yeah, that's nice and wonky. Might go the other way on this one. A dish of salmon. <laughs> um, so, what else can we do? What else? What other part of the world can we write? So I haven't really righted any part of the world today. I'm just talking about lockdown and 
so that's getting a bit boring. It's not like a right. It was like right, exciting conversation. You know, it never happened, and you know, it was something new to talk about, and you know, it's our, you know, this generation's version of World War Two. You know, my mum remembers World War Two, and that was the thing that she talked about forevermore. Um, and you know, that's what we'll talk about in the future. We'll talk about not World War Two. We'll talk about how we survived the pandemic the pandemic as it will, it will be called uh, well unless there's like another one which i really sincerely hope there won't be another one um and then like you know people will talk about where were you when it happened and what so yeah that's all we've got to talk about so when it first uh, when it first happened it was like oh we've got something new to talk about and it was like we're all gripped by the news now i don't watch the news at all um i only get I've got a BBC news app that kind of just tells me breaking news and if it's something I'm interested in, I have a look. And if it isn't, I don't, strangely. <laughs> so, um, oh, I need to put a bit more glue down there. I'm very impressed at how quickly this glue dries. Sorry about talking about the same thing. I'm, I'm going on about it like the virus, aren't I? But I'm really chuffed at the way, at the speed that this grabs this glue and it dries so quickly it dries so much quicker than mod podge i wonder what that would be like you know that napkin thing that i made i wonder what this would be like instead of that <sighs> so you know when i do like a piece, is a piece of fabric and then i layer it up with like plain napkins first and then so that was i think that was the previous video well it, it it's not been uploaded as i'm currently doing this now um because it's one of the other vi videos i've done to try and get ahead of myself with um but you will have seen it prior to this if you if you're following what i'm doing or if you're just like dipping in now and again anyway it'll be the video before this so <laughs> shut up dave go on with it but anyway, yes, and I'm just wondering if that's because I used watered down Mod Podge in that, which mm. it's not a lot in there, is there? Um, I used watered down Mod Podge in that video. Um, I wonder what this would be like watered down. It, obviously, it wouldn't have such a a big grab if it was watered down. Um, but you know, reach out and grab. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go all completely the different direction now I'm going to go up and downy type fighting up and downy I don't know what I'm talking about just don't listen to me so. anyway Christina how are you and I'm saying Christina because like I'm really sorry if anybody else like religiously religiously was <laughs> Religiously watch. Oh, did I say it that right? The same that time. Religiously watches me. Yes, there you go. If anybody else religiously watches, religiously watches. But shut up, Dave. Uh, <laughs> if anybody else religiously watches me, then um, I can say it when I don't think about it. Then I don't. I'm sorry if I'm not mentioning you, but you know I know that Christina comments. On my videos so and says that she's watched them so and i'm very grateful because otherwise i'm sat talking to myself so, which you know isn't a, a bad thing because I, I often talk to myself to be fair so it's really good for you talking to yourself and swearing apparently i don't swear a lot but apparently swearing is very good for you it's very good for your pain management. If you swear, it's very good for you managing pain. So, apparently so. There's a Netflix series that started, I think it starts today actually. Well, it does in the UK. It's about the history of swear words. Um, I'm quite interested to watch that. I like the history of words and why we use certain words and, you know, things like gay, for instance. You know, it used to be mean something completely different. So, it used to mean that you were were happy i think that was one of the retorts that i gave my mum when i was like young and like sassy um when she'd say well gay used to mean happy and i 
was to say, it still does. <laughs> like in a flouncy kind of stomp off type of way. <laughs> I've got the last word type of way. Um, but now I feel like I need to do something on the inside of them. <laughs> I might do something on the inside of them because nobody wants to open a drawer and see it half decorated. I might, I might just line the inside with newsprint. I won't do the the outside quite so much. Oh, I don't know now. <sighs> See, that's the problem. You do these things, and then like you kind of shoot yourself in the foot, don't you? Um, what has this got on it? It says Manchester on it, so that's not very very romantic, is it? Um, let's put that like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, talking to yourself, really good. Swearing, good for pain management. But talking to yourself, do it all the time, it's fine. It's absolutely fine, there's no harm in talking to yourself. And I often, if people catch me talking to myself, tell them I'm talking to the dog. So, <laughs> although he doesn't listen, so I might as well talk to myself, so. What time is it? I don't know how long I've been doing this video for. How long I've been doing this video? Let's have a look. Oh, I can't actually tell. So I can't see. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not it's not a great problem if I've been going for like the only problem is I know that the battery doesn't last so well in my old phone. So it might well, if it cuts out, it cuts out. I might have to tag a bit on the end. I do like this glue. I know I keep saying that, but and I'm not sponsored by them at all. But you know, if they want to sponsor me, I'd be quite happy to use their glue. Not exclusively, obviously, because there are. You can't just use it for every purpose, but it has got a very good grab on it, and I like the way it feels. I don't like the way Mod Podge feels when it dries. I don't like the way that Mod Podge feels on my fingers. I really have a problem with that. It's a textural thing for me, though. That's another autistic thing, textures. So, yeah, if I don't like the texture, I don't like the texture. I can't do much about it. I'm going to have to cut panels, aren't I, in order for it not to be too big. I'm going to have to have panels on it to, to make it, you know, if I'm going to cover them all. Because if you pull the drawer out, I'm just thinking if you pull the drawer out, you're going to pull, a, would you pull it all the way out? I don't know. I don't know. Could I use that piece there? Maybe. There we go. Just tear that bit off. Tear that bit off. Sorry, I've suddenly gone quiet, haven't I? But you're probably thinking, oh, wow, he's shut up for five minutes. I can, you know, I am capable of being quiet for five minutes. Well, technically I'm capable of being quiet for five minutes. I don't like it. I talk incessantly. I talk in my sleep, so let's face it. You know, talking is my thing. That's why I was put on the world to talk. So, and boy, do I do it. Well, he says in a modest tone. So, pop that on there. I don't know why I've changed my technique. I was I was started pa pasting this, and then I started pasting this, and now I've gone to back to pasting this. So, oh, I can hear my washing machine bleeping. It's telling me it's finished a load. So that's good. That means I can get another load in when I've done this video. So this might be split into a couple of parts. There's another video that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing. Um, turning your old um, Christmas cards into journals. So, you know, hang on to your Christmas cards. If you want some inspiration on what you can do with them, then you could hang on to them. Um, and we'll, you know, you might not like it and you might decide to throw them on the fire in the, in the end anyway, but um, you might want to, might just want to keep them and, and see. So. Paste all that on there, tuck those bits in. I need a technique for tucking. The top bit's tucking. 
it's working, but you know. I'm sure there's better ways to do it. I'm sure there's better. I'm sure you're all shouting at the thing saying, you should have done it like this, or you should have done that, or you should have thought about what you were going to actually do before you started this video. But hey, that would be so boring if I knew what I was doing, wouldn't it? If I came in all cocky light, you know, saying, oh, this is what we're going to do, you'd be, well, you'd have turned off. So, I like the wonky text. I like the way the text is, like, not, not straight. Let's just see what else. So, I've got those. How else shall I have it? I don't want to go completely upside down. So I've got that slopes that way. Sorry, I'm just having a look how they slope. That slopes that way. That's the only one that slopes that way. That slopes the other way. That's fairly straight. That slopes down as well. So we need one that slopes another one that slopes up, definitely. I like a bit of symmetry. As much as I like quirky, I like a bit of symmetry as well. Um it's just just how my brain works. So I wonder if this stuff is UV. Like so I'm you know that frame that I made and I think it was Mariah that suggested I covered it with like some thing some UV type stuff. And I don't know whether this will be. So it's UV protect dry fast odorless. Oh odorless. It doesn't it's not odorless. And we store at room temperature, cleans with clean tools with water. Um, the deck, uh, the paper patch glossy glue is an exceptional glue, officially, oh sorry, officially, specifically optimized for decker patch paper. It makes the colors brighter. Um, it also sticks any kind of paper or fabric on any surface. Once dry it creates a transparent, shiny, non-sticky and water resistant film. Most importantly it is water based and safe for use by children. So it doesn't say. So if it doesn't say it probably isn't. <laughs> that's what I that's the motto. So yeah, it's it's probably not. UV safe, so not well, it's not UV safe. It's not like there's, it's going to suddenly combust if it doesn't <laughs> if it gets anywhere near UV. What I mean is it's um the UV stuff stops it from fading in sun. Stops and it stops the decomposition of the paper and that sort of thing. So it's all very technical. It's fine. We we'll leave it there. Don't no, don't really don't and I'm it's asked to feel a little bit out of me depth and I'm suddenly turned into a Yorkshire accent and I don't know why. So now, if if um, Patricia was struggling to understand me before, she's definitely struggling to understand me now. Bayek. It's a rough life, isn't it? If you don't know, work it down pits, that'd be a rough life. So, like, oh, shut up, Dave. Stop talking. <laughs> talking with a terrible accent. Probably not even a Yorkshire accent. It's probably a mix of the Yankshire, Yankshire, Lancashire, and Yorkshire. Well, Yankshire is Yorkshire and and Lancashire mixed together. Clearly, although you don't mix Lancashire and Yorkshire together, they're like mortal enemies. So, the wrong side of the Pennines. So, if you live in Manchester, the wrong side of the Pennines is Leeds, and if you live in Leeds, the wrong side of the Pennines is Manchester. So. Um, so yeah, Yorkshire and Lancashire, they don't, they don't really get on, but <laughs> then it's not, it's not like everybody hates each other, but like there is that kind of like, you know, war, it's the War of the Roses, isn't it? It's the, the Lancashire Red Rose compared to the Yorkshire White Rose. So, if you didn't know, <laughs> and if you didn't know, you do know, so um let's have one that's kind of do you want one that's really straight let's do one that's like straight up and down maybe tear this down a bit cool bits of 
bit sticky. It's starting to get a bit sticky. Like, like I say, I don't mind the feel of this on my fingers, but it's, it's. I bet that'll peel off nicely. I love the, you know, a glue that peels off nicely off your fingers. Oh, oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Need to get out more clearly. I think it's that kind of construction thing, isn't it? That's why I like doing this. So I'm, I, I like building things. I like, so you know, when I made those um, 3D cards, it's that building that I really like. So, um, oh, I should rub it right off the page, Dave. Why don't you? So, is that because you were thinking maybe that's too straight? subconsciously and the paper heard me and moved for me so that I could relay it so it's very it's good paper it's the glue is very kind to you and the paper is very kind they work together in harmony to provide a second chance so shut up Dave yeah I would make you making it all up now so but you know fake it till you make it that's what they say I'm going to cut that bit down so it's not too overhangy. Maybe that bit as well, so not too much overhang. Yeah, that's fine. Now let me tuck this bit in at the top first. So, anybody else use this glue? Previously used this glue? Like it? don't like it tell me what it, its limitations are or it's you know what it says rude familiarity 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 <laughs> yeah it says something that I'm clearly not able to say um oh, I don't know what it is with words today I'm tripping over them yeah if you've used this glue you have to tell me what its limitations are if you say Oh yeah, you've said it's really good at blah blah blah, but actually it's not. So you tell me if you've used it, what you think of it. And if you haven't used it, don't maybe a friend's got some and you can use some, but don't, you know, bit of social distancing first. I'm not encouraging you to be together. <laughs> so shut up, Dave. Don't know what you're talking about, do you? No, no idea. Like I say, fake it till you make it. Right, so I've got all of them, so I, I let, let's just have a look. I know that I'm thinking about covering the whole thing, but let's just have a look what it looks like first, shall we? And then see what we're going to do from there. Because I can always cover it after I've made them, because the drawers will come out, obviously. I won't leave them in there because otherwise if it dries and they'll dry in well if it dries it will dry but no what I mean is if it will suddenly dry and they'll get stuck in there and like then there won't be it won't be very good drawers if you can't get them out will it so haven't made one of these for years Well, I like the theory of them. Make sure they're all the right way up. That's the problem, Dave. They're just, they've kind of just fallen over. No, that isn't the right way up. That is. Yep, that's the right way up. Yep. So, I don't know how the placement of them will be. Yep, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so let's turn them this way so you can see them. So, do I want them to be? Move that and put that in some water, Dave. Otherwise, it will just dry. There. Let's move this paper. So, am I going to have them like that, or do I want them to be maybe not like that? Maybe like that bit like a dresser style well like a dressing table style or they could be like that and you have a little space underneath although I don't know what the practicality of a space underneath would be 
Um, I quite like that, but I don't know what I would do with that. Or maybe they should go like that. All oh, right, we can't see that yet. Like that. If you put one there and they were a pyramid, you can't have those unless you have them like that. And there's no, that's silly. It's kind of, I think, just think it's a waste of space if you do it like that. You could have it like that. Or like I say, you could have it like that. Why is that one sti not sticking out as much? Um, hmm, don't know. I, I do like that. I don't know why. Hmm. I might do that because then I was just thinking you could put if you have a back on it you've got like a little tray then haven't you here that you could put other things on you know put your brush hose on um and it's like less likely to get knocked off um yeah anyway I might I might save that for later what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry but I'm going to take them out before they to let them dry fully Otherwise, they'll all get glued in together. So, I'll let those dry. And then, I think, today, that's, well, for now, this filming bit, because you won't know whether it's today or tomorrow or whatever, other than I might have changed my top. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, and I will end this video. So, I'm going to put the lid back on my... That's probably a good thing, Dave. It's... it's it's not dried out for like eight years and don't leave the lid off it otherwise it will do um so that's it so that's it for today so thank you for like keeping me company while i've done that i'm going to go and put another load in the washing machine put the what's in the washing machine in the tumble dryer because there's no way it's going to dry outside now it's it hasn't got above one degree today um and uh, it hasn't done actually since christmas and it's been so cold really icy and it's a bit like you know, I'm kind of doing a bit of my, um, what's her name, Tonya Hardeen, I don't know what the American, but it's Torval and Dean are ice skaters in the UK, well were, a long time ago, back in the 80s, so I was doing my Torval and Dean impression when I went out with the dog um, the other day, because the, the roads were so icy, anyway, shut up Dave, so that's the reason why I'm not putting more washing outside, so just in case you wanted to know, um, so I'm going to go and put it in the tumble dryer. So you all have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, morning, night, whatever time it is with you. Thank you very much for like keeping me company and you know crafting along with me. Um, I'd love to know what you what you're making. So if you want to tag me in it on Instagram, um, I'd be grateful. Um, I'd love to see what you've been making. So you take care. Um, I love you all without exception till you give me a reason not to so don't be that person that gives me a reason not to all right you take care of yourselves I love you all um, you know stay safe uh, virus is taking over again so you just be careful please um, because I genuinely care about you and I will see you all very soon so bye bye from me um, love to you all Mwah, mwah, mwah. Big hugs. Can you feel that hug? Can you feel that? I'm like really squeezing you tight and patting you on the back and giving you a rub as well. All right, you take care, folks, and I'll see you soon. Bye.